क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन द प्रॉपर्टी नंबर थ्री ऑफ डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल लेट एस स्टार्ट विद प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन इंटीग्रल जीरो टू पाई बाई टू लॉग ऑफ साइन एक्स डी एक्स नाउ वॉट इज प्रॉपर्टी नंबर वन इट सेज सॉरी फॉर एग्जाम्पल Now, what is property number three? It says integral zero to two a f of x dx can be written as integral zero to a f of x dx plus integral zero to a f of two a minus x dx. So, using this property, we are going to try to find the integral of the given part. Let us consider the given integral as i. As you can see, here 2a is replaced by pi by 2. Means the value of 2a is given as pi by 2. And on the right hand side, we need 0 to a. Therefore, by solving this, the value of a will be pi by 4. So we can split this integral as 0 to pi by 4, and here also as 0 to pi by 4. The next step is. Find f of x and find f of 2a minus x. Our f of x is given as log of sin x. So to find f of 2a minus x, what is 2a? It was pi by 2. So 2a will be replaced by pi by 2 minus x. That will give you log of sin pi by 2 minus x. Now we know that sine of pi by 2 minus x is cos x. Therefore, f of pi by 2 minus x is nothing but log of cos x. So our value of a is ready, and f of x and f of 2a minus x is also ready. So let us split the given integral as 0 to pi by 4. f of x is log of sine x dx plus 0 to pi by 4. f of 2a minus x is log of cos x dx in the given property we have integral 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x dx as integral 0 to pi by 4 log of sin x dx plus integral 0 to pi by 4 log of cos x dx we have considered this integral as already i on the right hand side since the limits are same we can add these two integrals now you can use the property log a plus log b that will give you log ab whenever sin x and cos x are in the product form just multiply it by 2 and balance it by dividing it by 2 again as 2 sin x cos x will give you sin 2x so we have integral 0 to pi by 4 log of sin 2x upon 2 dx now we can use the property log of a by b that will give you log a minus log b Now let us separate the integral to both the terms. Here we have integral zero to pi by four log of sine two x dx minus integral zero to pi by four log two dx. In the second integral, we can take this constant outside. and here integration of 1 dx will be x in the next part we have integral 0 to pi by 4 log of sin 2x dx minus log 2 x within limit 0 to pi by 
Now let us consider this as equation number 1 and start solving this integral separately. Considering this as i1, we have i1 is equal to integral 0 to pi by 4 log of sin 2x dx. In this case, you can substitute 2x as t. Therefore, the value of x will be t by 2 and on further differentiating, the value of dx will be dt by 2. Also, we need to change the limits. For that, the limits of x were 0 and pi by 4. If I put x as 0, 2 into 0 will give you 0 only. But if I put x as pi by 4, 2 will be cancelled with 4 and the remaining part will be pi by 2. So the new limits of t are 0 and pi by 2. The value of 2x will be t and the value of dx will be dt by 2. As i1 was integral 0 to pi by 4 log of sin 2x dx after substitution the lower limit is 0 the upper limit is pi by 2 we have log of sin 2x is taken as t and the value of dx is dt by 2 taking 2 outside the integral we have i1 is equal to 1 by 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 log of sin t dt. Now we can convert this log of sin t dt as log of sin x dx as the final answer remains the same. In definite integral whether the variable is t or whether the variable is x. If we convert the entire function in terms of another variable the final answer remains unchanged. Therefore i1 will be half integral 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x dx and we can mention the property as integral a to b f of t dt can be written as integral a to b f of x dx. Now as you can see 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x dx was our initial sum and that integral log of sin x from 0 to pi by 2 we have considered it as i. So the value of i1 will be half into i. Let us substitute the value of i1 in equation number 1. Our equation number 1 was i is equal to i1 minus log 2 into x within limits 0 to pi by 4. Value of i1 is half i minus log 2 into we have upper limit pi by 4 minus lower limit 0. Half i will come on the left hand side. We have i minus i upon 2 will give you minus log 2 into pi by 4. i minus i by 2 will give you i by 2 is equal to minus log 2 into pi by 4. Here 2 will be cancelled with 2 ones and 2 twoza. Therefore, the final answer will be i is equal to minus pi upon 2 into log 2. I hope you have understood this problem. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.